My name is Paul Offit. I'm talking to you today from the Vaccine Education Center at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. It's Wednesday, March 6th, 2024. What I wanted to talk about was something that happened over the last few days that the CDC has recommended a change in how we handle COVID. Basically trying to liken our, our treatment of COVID and our isolation guidelines for COVID to be more like all the other winter respiratory viruses. The recommendation was specifically that once you feel better, once your symptoms of respiratory uh, illness have started to decline and you don't have fever, say, for 24 hours, that you can go back to your normal activities outside, preferring that you wear a mask for about five days. So let's take a look at whether or not this makes sense. I think one way to understand this is that COVID occurs in two stages. The first stage is the virus stage, and the second stage is the immune stage. So with the first stage, the virus enters your body, begins to reproduce itself over and over again in the lining of your nose or your throat or your, your, uh, your windpipe or your bronchi or your lungs. And hundreds of virus particles become millions of virus particles. At that point, you're very contagious, and you really don't have much in the way of symptoms. You're really most contagious the day or two before you develop symptoms. The second stage is the immune stage. That's when your immune system is fighting off the virus. Your immune system wants to kill and eliminate the virus. It does that by making antibodies. It does that by, by uh, creating T cells, so-called T cells that kill virus infected cells. So the war is one. Your immune response is now fighting the virus. And with that, as the immune response increases and your symptoms increase, the level of virus replication or reproduction decreases. So as you, you reach the end of your immune stage, when you feel better, when you don't have the, as much in the way of symptoms, when you don't have fever for 24 hours, it's probably reasonable to assume that you're not shedding much virus anymore. And therefore, you can reasonably go out and about your normal activities. And I think, frankly, the recommendation to wear a mask for five more days is a conservative recommendation because you're probably not shedding much virus at all. So here's another way to look at this. What should you do? If you're in a high risk group, meaning that you have, you're have you pregnant, you're immune compromised, you're elderly, um, or you have the kind of um, uh, health problems like chronic lung or liver or heart or kidney disease that put you at high risk of severe COVID, you should, if you develop respiratory symptoms like congestion, cough, runny nose, sore throat, headache, joint pain, test yourself. See if you have COVID. If you have COVID, treat yourself with an antiviral within the first few days. If you don't have, uh, if you're not in a high risk group, what you should do is don't test yourself. Assume that you have COVID or any of these other winter respiratory viruses. And that what you should do then is you should, should stay home if you can until you feel better. And then once you feel better, then you can go outside and, and wear a mask. So I'll, I'll give you a specific example. Um, I, it occurred um, when I was waiting in the um, waiting room to, to uh, get on a flight here in Florida to go back to Philadelphia. So there was a man who was, was walking through the airport and he was, he was sort of sweeping up along the areas where people were waiting to get on the plane. And he had a pretty bad respiratory infection. He was coughing, he was sneezing, his nose was running, he was wiping his nose on his sleeve. And I was watching with progressive horror as people saw him walking up and down um, the, the aisles. And this was Florida, so it was generally an older group. Uh, an, an older woman asked him, did you test yourself? And he proudly said, yes, he did. So to him, that meant that he was good, that, that he wasn't going to really be hurting anybody because he was COVID negative. But remember, every year influenza causes between 20,000 and 60,000 deaths. Respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV, kills 10,000 to 14,000 older adults. Parainfluenza causes about 50,000 hospitalizations. And there are a variety of other viruses in the winter that also cause hospitalization and suffering and intensive care unit admissions and death. So you don't have to have COVID to cause other people harm. So I think what makes sense then, if you're sick with a respiratory infection, stay home. Um, if you can't stay home, and not everybody can, because the, the sort of sick leave policies in companies differ, and some of them aren't very generous, and some people can't stay home. If you can't stay home and you have a, a respiratory infection in the winter, wear a mask um, until you feel better. 
Um, and, and that really makes the most sense um, because we tend to think that if you don't have COVID, you're not causing harm to other people, but that's not true. Hopefully that helps. Thank you.